The Hopkinton Hillers hockey team finished the regular season with 17 wins, two losses, and one tie. Head coach Chris McPherson stated that it is the best regular season record in school history. Well, it was an incredible, incredible experience for you know the whole coaching staff as the team was uh, plugged in right from the beginning and uh, really wanted to win for each other, which is basically all you can ask for as a coach. You know, they came with a hard work and positive attitude every day to the rink, and you know, we, we shared a lot of smiles this year, a lot of laughs, obviously some tears at the end, but um, overall I can't mention to say how proud we are of this group as a whole. The Hillers won in their first playoff game, but ran into a tough old Rochester team in the second round and lost an incredible double overtime thriller. This year's team featured eight seniors who all saw a good amount of playing time. At the annual end of the year banquet, Hopkinton Country Club was packed as parents, families and friends gathered to show support for their beloved Hopkinton Hiller. The seniors were rewarded and had a chance to speak and thank their families, coaches, and friends for their support throughout their high school hockey career. I was lucky enough to move here to Hopkinton two years ago, and in that short time, I've been fortunate enough to be able to call many of you on this team my brothers. All of you guys are, are like family. I take pride in knowing that I was on a team this season where no single player put themselves above another, and everyone, no matter their role, put everything they had into our success. Though I only played two high school seasons, I can honestly say that they were probably two of the most fun years of my career. Nothing can compare to the feeling of representing your school and playing in front of your peers. Over the past few years, I trained to be the best goalie I could, I could be, and I could not do that without the help of a lot of people in my life. Playing for the Hiller organization for the past two years has been a great experience. The season was truly unforgettable and I'm proud to be such a part of the historic team, setting the best all-time record in Taylor's history. Good luck to everyone in the future. I'd like to thank my captains, Tim and Pick. It's been a great year with you boys. Love being on the team with you guys. And lastly, I'd just like to give a nice special shout out to uh, Morgan, Spooncer, Sap, Griff, and Peter. All joined me on that fourth line. <laughs> It was exciting when we got out of the ice, everyone got a little laugh for it, but it's always a special occasion for us. There were uh, some really uh, special moments this year that involved some powerful resilience and heart that uh, our team showed. And I think that, you know, even though sometimes we got punched in the face by the other team, you know, uh, sometimes we punched each other in the face. Uh, there, were, <laughs> there, were, uh, there, were, there were some serious uh, heart and resilience. And I'm glad that uh, we could get through that together. Spencer had a selfless attitude and played anywhere that we felt was best for the team. This is something that our staff remember always about. It's a third version letter for the man they call school. I'm going to start off saying with a thank you to a lot of people here. Um, first off, huge thanks to the hockey parents this year that helped with all the events. Uh, thank you to Mr. Bloomer for running Friends of Hiller Hockey. It's a huge help. Uh, thank you to all the coaches, Coach Matt, Coach O'Connor, Coach Jenkins. Uh, over the past few years, I've played pretty much every position on the team. Almost got a goal one time, but uh, uh, I played defense and forward all, all positions. So it was, uh, it was tough, but you guys made the transition. Hockey has just been like an unreal experience for me. And um, although we had failures this season and last season, like. I can look at every guy in this room and know like we're gonna be successful in life. And like it just like I call you all my brothers and like I deeply respect you for like making me better and like everybody else better on the team. Timmy was a vocal leader had the ability to get the team excited when we needed to lift and also had a good feel for when a player needed encouragement. You know, we had a lot of laughs, a uh, couple cries here and there toward the end of the season. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, it was a blast and uh, I really loved it. And uh, lastly, uh, I just want to say to the guys that are coming up next year through the ranks that, um, you know, it was a tough way to end the season this year, but uh, honestly, start moving forward. You know, you guys got, you guys got a great thing going right now, and uh, I have no doubt in my mind that you guys are going to go all the way next year and take home both titles. So, you know, thank you, everybody. Um, I want to start off, I think, my family, my mom, and my dad, thank you for everything that you've done. 
Um, and I guess my sister too, but she's not here, so. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a vacancy in the corner at uh, Navy next year, where my dad has uh, stood for nearly every game I've ever played. Um, and the fan section might be a little quieter next year too, without my mom uh, yelling at the refs and opposing players. But, uh, I hope this is going to be able to keep that up. <laughs> it was a tough end to their playoff run, but there is no doubt this year's squad was one of the best, and maybe even the best, in school history. Also at the end of the year banquet, next year's captains were named, and they all played key roles in their junior years on this year's team. Owen Delaney, Connor Delaney, and our fourth captain, Dylan O'Leary. It was a year of memories, a year of great hockey, and a year that the Hopkinton community got the chance to witness Hopkinton High School sports history.